par for the course. Alrighty. Right crosswind. You want to take off? No, you go ahead. We'll just, sir, we'll be, yeah. All right. Fairmont traffic, Skyline 805 Echo, taking off 17. Fairmont. It's good, Tim's good, fuel both. Strobes, strobes. 17 on the paint. And we have a right crosswind, all right. Bit. Instruments green. Speeds alive. Power. Rotate. How's the rate? Flaps up. When Katie was a baby. We lived down here straight ahead. Uh huh. And, uh, well, at your one o'clock, uh, one mile out there. And, uh, one of our spray pilots. The guy that just built the new hangar. Uh huh. Six o'clock every morning, he'd light his air tractor up, and Katie'd sit in her crib and go, "Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really?" Uh, Scott would always do a low pass right past the farm here for us. And oh, fine. She, she kind of got to like Scott and his airplane real early in life. Yeah. And you remember every bit of that, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thousand feet. That's, that's the farm right there where we live. Oh, okay. There's the big metropolis of Geneva. Oh, there's downtown Geneva. At least they planted a few trees when they built the town. Yeah, they did. Nice. They did. Yeah. All right. Bring that, bring our prop back to 2400. Dennis, if you can see the cemetery right here at the at the nine block, uh -huh. we live just a block south of that. We're just oh, going okay. by Sixth Street right now. You see kind of a copper roofed house, and we're okay. on the other end of that block. Ready? I can be. Two. Airplane. My airplane. Okay. I'm yeah, you trim it out a little bit. I think I'm just pulling back a little. Yeah. Operator error. Oh, that's Geneva, huh? That's Geneva. What's uh, what's Geneva's claim to fame? Or <laughs> well, now we're the monarch butterfly capital of the world. Oh, ah. okay. All right. It's just ag-based. Um, around since 1870 something. And kind of a cool thing is right there. You can see kind of two open fields. There's a lot of open fields, but in the trees. Yeah. One of those is where my friend, two of my friends and I like to ride our ride horses there. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Invite you along? What? They invite you along? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's always good to know somebody with horses. <laughs> yeah. Or a plane or a boat. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, any of those expensive fun things. Yeah, the, there's the creek, Turkey Creek winds through here, and then we got the big Blue River up north a little bit at the edge of the... Oh, you get much feather? Mini feather? We, we do, um, kind of more to the east of us, a little better. Um, my dad was stationed in Lincoln, Nebraska when I was young. Uh, and, we, you know, we did a lot of pheasant hunting. How many hours you got? <laughs> One. Oh! <laughs> But yeah, we're we're just on the front end of this whole thing and fly you right over the barn where Katie uh, is her horse riding. And dead in front of us here on the north end of town. Okay. So what kind of riding do y'all do? Just regular? Yeah. Western or? Yeah, just Western. I work like an hour and then ride an hour on a horse named Julie. She's so sweet. And like this summer we showed at the 4-H fair. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun yeah. arrangement. Yeah, really fun. I'm glad to know 4-H is still active in this area. Yeah. That is. So is the county fair here? You said this is the seat. Yeah, yeah. it is. In fact, we're just going over the county fair on my side here. Katie's, Katie's barn is just straight to the left here. Oh, yeah. Um, I see our house. Got it. 
right under the wheel. It is. I see our pool. <laughs> <laughs> Looks clean from this night. <laughs> Wetlands out here at our 230. That's where we usually get some pheasants and some ducks out there. Well, the rest of it's just corn, so I don't know what you want to see. Jay. Oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I see cows. <laughs> Cows and corn. Now, Katie Bug, you're starting your ground school, right? Yep, we're working on it. And how old are you now? 13. So, wh when can she actually start? Uh, you have to be 16, is it, or 15? 16 to solo and 17 to get the license. Okay. You can block, yeah, you can work on it at any time, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. I think she's going to have a thousand hours before she solos, <laughs> isn't she? She's going to have some, she's going to have push it to catch up with Austin Clemens, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's, she's got a few years on her, too. Yeah. I really enjoyed my flight with Austin. Yeah. For a neat kid. Well, you know, it, it, I hear this from a lot of parents. If you get your kids involved in something like horses or, or flying or something that takes a lot of time and a lot of expense, uh, they stay out of trouble. They usually end up being, growing up being pretty good kids. Oh, and Katie's got a lot of interests and a lot of activities, so we just can monitor so we don't get stretched too thin. Yeah, well, that's just it. Not yeah. going to be those parents that are driving. Some some do in our community. They'll drive to Lincoln three nights a week and drive over somewhere else for some other activity. Yeah. They come at midnight every night, wonder why their kids are exhausted. Yeah. 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 Now, we only let Allison do what she wanted to do. We never yeah. really pushed her. Now you can see the brooding air base straight south from there. Oh, I see. Three miles yeah. south. Yeah. So that was another base back in World War II, and now all it is is Mid-America Cattle Company. Now, Katie, how much have you flown? Um, <laughs> Just your young eagle flight, yeah. you actually controlled the plane, right? And it, trying to keep us below the class alpha. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you'll have a problem. This one's not turbocharged. <laughs> It'd be real anemic up there. <laughs> You weren't, you weren't lying, though. It is really smooth up here. Oh, yeah. It, it yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. But as soon as we got to TPA, traffic pattern altitude, man, we were getting bounced all over the place. The wind was, you could really feel the wind buffeting around. Straight in front of us is this little elevator, Cordova. There's nothing there, really. Cordova's got a butcher shop and a gun store and a yeah. little, uh, well, two churches. It's uh, 10, 10 or so years ago, we had a huge tornado uh, took that whole town out. Oh, wow. Oh. But, but Cordova has got rich Corinthian leather. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably before Katie's time. That's, that's, before, that's before a lot of people. <laughs> oh, careful, James. <laughs> I just thought you liked to go up and down. I don't have enough hours to figure it all out yet. I think you're doing great, personally. <laughs> I know, I see. I mean, you only got 1.2 hours now, right? <laughs> Bond, do you have to sign off his book? Or yeah, anything? well, I'm not a CFI, so I can't do that. Oh, that's right. If that's Brian right. Turner was here, we could get away with that, but... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And he would sign it, even though he can't, but... <laughs> <laughs> he signed my t-shirt, that's, that's good. Yeah. Oh, do you have one, too? Got, I, I bought a t-shirt. That, uh, that, what did he have on there? Fisdo alumni or whatever. Uh huh. And then uh, I said, well, you're, I'm only getting people to sign it down at the ACCAs. Only people who've been to the Fisdo. Well, it's funny to find out how many guys have actually been to the Fisdo. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a few of them, so. Yeah. Ron, why don't you take her back? And... Okay. My airplane. Got it. Katie, your dad flies smoother than I do. <laughs> I just took the legs that weren't directly into the crosswind. Yeah. <laughs> Fairmont traffic, Skyline 80 Papa Echo is seven to the north west inbound full stop one seven. Fairmont. All right, fuel on both. Up in mixture. Fairmont traffic, Skyline 80 Pump Echo, going to enter a right base for 17 Fairmont. Right, 10 degrees flaps. 
Fairmont traffic. Scully needs to pop echo, turning right base to final, 17, full stop, Fairmont. We got a gusty right cross, crosswind, don't we? Fairmont traffic, Scully needs to pop echo, short final, 17, full stop, Fairmont. Those nice little gusts we got when yeah. we came in, it was poodle coming down. Boom throwers. Pretty good in that wind. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Have to keep a little speed up to. Just a touch. Yeah. That wind gusting like that kind of floated. Fairmont traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo. Clearing 17. Fairmont. Katie, did you want to fly? Um. What's that? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Fairmont traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo. Taxiing to 17. Fairmont. Fairmont traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo, taking off 17. Fairmont. All right, 10 degrees of flaps, fuel on both, open, open, trims and trims. on the floor. Instruments green. Speeds alive. Rotate. That's a great flaps up. See that smile again. <laughs> gotta wait till we get out of the bumps. We gotta get above those. All right, or a little above three thousands where it starts to smooth out. Yeah. It's like going over a little threshold or something. Yeah. Yeah. What altitude were we at before? I was 3,500, 4,500. That that's what I was doing. I was looking for smoother air. I wasn't actually gaining or losing altitude. Was, yeah. <laughs> we're on our Bahamas sticker. I keep looking at it. It expires this month. I know it. Hi, Miss Katie. <laughs> I got it pretty much trimmed out for you. Then put your hands on the yoke. I'll be right along with you, so don't get nervous. Okay? You good? Yeah. And really, you just need one hand and just kind of hold it loosely. The plane's going to fly itself. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. All right. I got the rudders because I don't know if you're going to stem okay. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get us leveled out here real good. I right, get a little... All right, it is your airplane. All right, Brian Turner. <laughs> hey, he's flying our airplane. Oh, we forgot to give you guys the cookies. I'll have to oh, get those to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to keep you kind of slow. We're just going 120 knots. Okay. All right. That's, that's, now, Brian's airplane, his goes 120 knots when it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> and I got us throttled way back. Slow to go 120 knots. All right, why don't we just make a very easy left turn? All right, yeah, just just one hand's fine. Just you know, just just put a lot, just light pressure on the yoke. There you go. There you go. You can use two, but w what it is is you tend to death grip their yoke. You tend to climb and extend a lot. And what it is is you don't think it, but you're you're pulling back or you're tensing up. So I fly like this. I just kind of have my finger and I'll just kind of just oh. nudge it along. And that's all you need to do is nudge it along. Look at that. You got a nice, good, standard rate turn going. Look at that. You're not, that is dead black right there. You're not climbing or descending. Now, your dad climbed a whole lot and he descended a lot. <laughs> You're doing it nice and level there. So. I was looking for smooth air. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, we know who's going to do all the flying when y'all get your plane. <laughs> That's okay with me too. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, she is just steady as a rock. Right on the horizon. Kind of keep that turn coming. We'll just kind of do a nice little sweeper here. Going right over Harley's house, Katie. <laughs> Off the horn. A dead center in the middle now. I, I mean, that thing's black. It's not showing plus or minus. She did better than me, Ron. Uh, am I, I am not going to touch that. With a <laughs> Let's just say Brian Turner would sign her off right now. Yeah, I think Brian Turner should sign her off because we got the video evidence here. You know, look, like, look, Mom, no hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he's a DPEE, isn't he? He is a DPE SDO <laughs> uh, Max to the Maximus Max, I think. <laughs> Now why wouldn't you fly Brian's plane? Um, I don't know. Uh, if, I say you're a natural. She just got a little overwhelmed and a little nervous that weekend, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Meeting yeah. all you big celebrities and... Oh, Brian, not a... <laughs> <laughs> you know what was really nice is some of those guys are so friendly, so nice and so gracious and... Yeah. Well, and that's that's what's so wonderful. I mean, it's it's great you guys come up to visit. We, it, it didn't matter if you were talking to the most famous YouTuber or the least famous. You got the same, oh yeah, the same greeting yeah. and the time and attention and such a neat way to meet people that. Oh yeah. You know. Well, that's what we've enjoyed about the whole thing. Is just we've met people all over the place and just yeah. really nice people and you know. Well, and, and when you have a plane and they have a plane, really nowhere to meet is, is too far almost. I oh, mean, yeah. You can, yeah. It would have taken us three hours to drive to you guys. Took you about an hour and 20 or so to get oh, here yeah. today. Yeah. yeah, going back is going to be a little slower, though. Well, yeah. Well, we, we like to do that. We like to keep, keep our Kansas friends here longer. Yeah. You'll yeah. <laughs> be riding right into the teeth of it on the way home, won't you? Yeah, pretty much. All right, we're about 10 miles north, Katie. So, key the mic and say Fairmont traffic, Skyline 80 Papa Echo is 10 to the northeast, inbound for 1-7. Okay. Fairmont traffic. Skyline. Skyline. 80 Papa Echo. Zero Papa, zero Papa Echo. 10, 10 to the northwest, hold 10, it down. 10 to the northwest. It's like wedding vows, Ron. You told her too much at one time. <laughs> no, I know. Gonna, you know. Repeat after me. <laughs> yeah. All right, there you go. See, we're heading. We're heading almost straight to the airport. Go ahead and keep us going left there. Her turn coming. Keep going left. You see the town up there? Uh. Up there? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Is this a runway right here under us? This is a private runway. Yeah. Yeah. We're just we're east of McCool, Katie. If you look out your window, that's McCool Junction over there. Okay. Clock. Alrighty, my airplane now. We're on final. Well, we're on long final, but we got it. <laughs> this is getting a little bumpy, and yeah. I don't think you want to mess with it. Uh -uh. Is she doing all those turns? Yeah, I just now took over. Oh, wow. Nice and smooth. Hey, you want to try another radio call? We're about five to the north. Uh -huh. You got it. You got it. Right, Fairmont so. traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo. Five to the north, inbound one seven. Okay. traffic. Skyline eight zero Papaeka is five to the north, uh, in inbound seven. Seven. On seven, Fairmont. Yeah. Good deal. Hey, that was even better. That's hard to do. The radio calls. You you know, I have kids in the office at school, and they said. You know, I know what I want to say when I answer the phone, but it's hard. And I said, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Radio calls are just like that. That's her friend's house again out here off the left wing, uh -huh. mile over. And uh, we kind of got surprised. Have you seen the Bull Surfer movie, the Bethany Hamilton story, the girl that got a oh, shark oh. bit her arm off? We had, oh, it's yeah. been a while, but yeah. <laughs> Bethany is married to Allison's brother. So that's, that's oh, Katie's cool. friend's aunt is Bethany. Bethany cool. and Adam in Hawaii. Nice. And we're like, well, now we know. 
something fun, you know. Yeah. I always laugh when they come to visit, they'll bring the kids a surfboard or something as a gift. I'm like, well, they use it over in the Exeter pool, you know. Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. That's a nice little property right there, though. Yeah, and he grew up kind of in these sections here. His his dad passed away, but his uncles own all the land around them. And yeah, looks like a nice creek back there. You see a line of trees, it's a creek. Yep, yep. pretty much count on it around here. Or at least a low spot that they can't farm. Yeah, yeah. Fairmont traffic, Scully needs your puppet go. Final, one seven, full stop, Fairmont. How easy that is. <laughs> Yeah. All right, 20 degrees flat. So. I have to make sure you guys sign the visitor log too in the FBI. Oh, okay. yeah, definitely so. Yeah, so this corn is on what was a taxiway, and then yeah. this was a main runway. Yeah, and then that. this guy that all around landscaping, Ben, bought this. And he grows sod for his landscaping business. Business is there. And then his house is back there. They tore up some of the runway to put in a house and a pond. And he's kind of an advertiser. If if, uh, if you want to see what it would look like to have your yard done with nice landscaping, well, come and have a pizza in my house. And he's in the backyard. He's got a little pond. Well, it's got a beach down to it. Uh -huh. but, you know, uh, just everything is sample landscapes, you know. Yeah. And uh, neat, neat guy. Another good one. And that windsock was going from straight down to straight up, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, you, you're working for it today. I'm, I'm fighting, fighting it today. today. Yeah, you go over that corn and you see it yeah. ripple, rippling across. You see that. the waves, like yeah. just like on water. Yeah. 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 Somebody took out that taxiway light there with the mower. And uh, you reached the pedals, Katie? Kind, kind of. All right, you, you want taxi back? Or yep, left there you go, go left. you got it. Yep. Left, left goes right. You don't do anything here. All right, you got it. <laughs> well, you can see outside there, can't you? Uh, yeah. All right. Give it a little right pedal there. Right, 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 right. More right oh, rudder. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right now, get us a little left and get us set back up there. You got it. I'm going real slow for you. A little more right. All right, now we're going to do a hard left here, okay? Hard left, hard left, hard left. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now go ahead and start straightening it up. There you go. Putting in our crosswind correction. That's all this is doing. This does nothing. Did you see that guy that crashed into a hangar? Yeah. Yeah. He was steering with this, and he wasn't doing his pedals. A little more right, a little more right, a little more right. There you go. It's warmed up. It has warmed up. Good, good. Right. There you go. We've got to get a couple more cameras. We just didn't it. <laughs> yeah, and once you're once you're addicted to this, it's never ending then. Uh, Alright, start start pointing this out that way. Have this hard right. Hard right. Nice to add that view. Hard right. There you and go. it amplifies the time of your editing because you got all these views to choose from. Exactly. Katie, hard left, all the way to the floor. There you go, keep it coming. And straighten this on up here. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. That'll work. Straighten it out. There you go. Good job, girl. Nice job, Katie. All Joy. right. Good job, Katie. <laughs> High five. Bang, you did real good. <laughs> Better than that. <laughs> <laughs>